Welcome back guys to another video of Kuham Tutorials with Everything Design. Today we learn how to create this type of library shelves that can be placed anywhere. If you are new to this channel, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. For our new audience, I'm using Kuham to create and render this project. Check the link below to get your hands on the discounted plans now. So, let's get started. We will be using our trusted custom modeling tool. First things first, don't skip your guidelines like I did here. Draw a square or a rectangle depending on the size of the piece you are making. Then choose the arc and place it directly above the shape. I'm drawing on the floor because it's easier to control. We will lift all of this when we are done. Delete this middle line to unify the shape. Next, grab the offset tool and choose the depth you would like for the piece. Then delete the shape in the center. Now we have this arch with no shelves. We will help it of shelves by drawing thin rectangles. Don't worry about the faces coming back, we will delete them. As you can see, I came back to my senses, and I'm using guidelines now. Guidelines will make your work easier, and you avoid making unnecessary mistakes. I'm marking where I want the shelves to be, and then I will draw rectangles. Delete the faces when you are done. I'm adding separation here. You can leave it as is or add as many shelves as you like. Don't forget to delete the connecting lines as well, because this will help us use the push and pull tool on the whole shape. Perfect, now that the shape is one unified surface, grab the push and pull tool and raise it. Wow, it's coming to life now. Select one face, press on the shift button and double click to select the whole shape and then group it. Now you are free to move your shape, rotate it and do whatever you want with it. Place it into proper position. Now I will show you how to smooth the arc and make it look better. Ungroup the shape first and then, using the fillet 3D, press on shift and select the two faces you like to smooth. Depending on the size of your shape, increase or decrease the radius value here and add the number or edges you'd like. The more, the smoother. Hit enter and the top is smoother now. Group the shape again so it's easier to add material to it.
Another thing you can add is light strip effect. Ungroup the shape, so we can select this interface here. We will use the cut tool. Just click on the face and control where you want the cut to be. Do that a second time. So we can have a middle face, like this. Now we add luminous material to this middle section. There we go. You can add light strip effect to the rest of the shelves if you want, but I'm leaving it like this. All that's left is to decorate this piece and add books, obviously. Now for the final results, as you can see, you can duplicate the shapes you create in custom modeling, so you can place them anywhere you like. I hope this video was helpful. Leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.